Hey guys, Game Alpha Great here. Today we're coming at you with five great PS4 games that most of you probably aren't playing, but you should be. Yes, these games aren't necessarily hidden gems, but they have flown under the radar of most casual gamers. We're also drinking a beer that was suggested to us by a friend of the channel. We're drinking Odell Brewing's 90 Shilling. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and stay tuned for this episode of Gaming Off The Grid. Alright, here we go. Let's jump right into this thing. We're going to talk about five great games on the PS4. They aren't necessarily all console exclusives, but they're games that you should definitely be playing, and we don't think that you are. Which one do you want to talk about first? Let's talk about a really sweet twin stick shooter called Next Makina. This game is just so sweet and it's so beautiful and man, it is addicting. Yeah, and it's a great co-op game. The, the two player aspect is awesome. It's so visually appealing. The screen is just full of total non-stop action. So if you're a fan of twin stick shooters, maybe even shmups, and it has like an arcade feel too and it's yeah. It just throws you right into the chaos and you have to survive and see how far you can get. It is so much fun. Yeah, it literally is one of our favorite couch co-op games to play right now. Next Makina, I believe as far as consoles go, it's exclusively on the PS4. And it's hard to get a physical copy of. I think it was ran by Limited Run Games, so you might be able to still get a copy of the game that way. But as far as a major release, it didn't happen. So most people probably only have the digital download, but you definitely need to check this one out. All right, the next game we're going to talk about, we have brought up on the channel before. Our good friend Brian, who's been on the channel in a couple different episodes, suggested this to us a while back. Stick Bowl. Oh, it's God. a dodgeball adventure, and it is absolute chaos. It's so much fun, and it actually made our party games episode, but it's just so much fun to sit down with a group of guys and drink some beer. Yeah, and this game is available now on multiple platforms. So it's not like it's an exclusive to the PS4, but it's still a great game if you have a PS4, which really isn't chocked full of great local multiplayer party games and this game fits the bill it's got like a 70s like style as far as their dress code and then the yeah, art style is a very blocky almost like a minecraft type yeah kind of sort of and i remember the first time we played this our friend ryan was laughing the hardest i've ever seen him laugh in my entire yeah. life i'm never gonna forget that moment because it was so funny yeah it's just dodgeball with a bunch of shenanigans so you can you know throw a fake ball out on a fishing pole and <laughs> you can you were winning games by just checking people off the map and you didn't even really know how to throw a ball but we're still winning and it is just a, a ton of fun and it it's just really a hoot to sit down and play with your friends. Now we're going to talk about Darius Burst the Chronicle Saviors. Yes, this game is a side-scrolling shmup. It's so beautiful. It has a very Japanese style to it. It actually has co-op, which is yes. really fun. Which makes shmups so much fun because we love playing co-op games and when a shmup has a co-op option, we instantly gravitate towards that and we love it and this game looks beautiful the music's beautiful just everything about it is so cool looking this game is a little difficult to obtain as well so they released a version on the playstation vita there's a north american release i believe by limited run games so it's kind of hit and miss if you can find it but it's pretty readily available out of japan so yes. we got the japanese version makes reading some of the menus a little difficult yeah, it's kind of hard because we but, don't know what we're picking yeah but once you're in the game it's yeah, then it doesn't matter yeah. but it's it's just so much fun if you are a fan of Gradius, R-Type, or any other side-scrolling shmup. You maybe even have played a Darius game, or Darius, I don't know if I'm saying it quite right, on other consoles from yesteryear. If you're a fan of those, this game is one you will definitely enjoy. Now let's move on to a game that's so unique, and it's kind of like a Telltale, kind of, but it's just like a story called Night in the Woods. It is a side-scrolling platformer, but with a very thick immersive storytelling element. It takes a little bit for the game to set the hook, so yes. give it an hour or so, but this story is, it just really hits home. If you are a middle-aged individual, it's got a very coming to life feel. A 20-something that doesn't know where they're going in life, and they're in kind of middle-class America. It's a really heavy game. The main character is trying to figure out like what she wants to do with her life and like how to become an adult. She drops out of college and she moves back home and she acts like she's still in high school and she's like in that in-between age that we've all been there and like we were just trying to figure out who we are 
And that's what this game is, and it hits at home, like you said. There are moments where it just hits you. Yeah, it's it's definitely a game that you need to check out. And it is a game that the critics were, were very nice to as far as an indie title goes. But it's a game that I don't think a lot of people have taken the time to invest into it. It doesn't take that long to beat the game. You can probably get through it, I you know, I don't know, 9, 10 hour mark. But it is definitely worth the investment and a very unique experience that I can't say I've played the game like this. Yeah, game. me neither. And the art style is really unique too, and it's just overall, it's just so cool looking, and the way the story's told, it's really unique. Yeah, it definitely came out of nowhere and uh, really surprised us. So you definitely need to check out Night in the Woods. Again, this game is available on multiple platforms as well. I don't think there's a physical release, which we always hate that, but it is worth getting this yeah, digital download. Yeah, it's worth the digital download. We have one more game to reveal, but first, let's talk about the beer. What do you think? I really like this. It's somewhere between a good ale and a lager, and it's not too offensive in any way, but there's a lot of flavor. It's not a very light beer. Yeah, it has. it's, it's very robust, and the aroma's like really warm, and it's just like a really good ale. Yeah, I was kind of worried about it too, because Ryan, who has also been on the channel before, suggested this to us, and he's more of an IPA fan, and so, so I was I, like, this is going to be a hot monster. I got really excited. There's a lot of flavor going on. I really enjoy this. This is just a good, solid beer. I don't think I've really had anything before from Odell's, but I am intrigued now, and I want to try more beer from them. And they're from Colorado, and Colorado has such a great craft beer scene. They do. It's one of the best in the country. We're always excited to try some craft beer from Colorado. So this one is a home run. I think any beer fan, whether you are more into domestics or craft beer, I think you would really like this. Yes. It's, very, just, it's just a good beer. It's just a good, simple beer. And talking about home runs, let's move on to our last game for the PS4. Yes, you really like this. This is Raiden 5. Director's Cut. Yes, it's a vertical shmup, which is very unique, and this, this series has been around for a long time, so you kind of probably already know, if you're a shmup fan, what these games are about. But this game's a lot of fun, and it does so many things that we like in a good couch co-op game. You can beat it in under two hours. It's so aggressive and chaos, and it's two players, and it just looks beautiful. We could not stop playing this game. It is so much fun. Bullet hell. There's just shit oh, all over the screen. It's madness. The two-player element's so fun because you have three different weapon styles, and you can preset those before you go into each match, and you can level them up, and we were kind of leveling up different things, so we had like the best of both worlds. Like Someone had more of a precise, powerful shot. Somebody had more of a spread. Sometimes we would both have the spread. So it's a lot of fun, there's a lot of strategy in it. There is one thing that we will tell you yes. to enjoy this game. There's like the mission control team up in the top right corner, and they're like giving you direction non of like what to do for the mission. And they're non-stop talking. And it's annoying as hell, it's way too loud, and we don't need directions to play a shmup. No, so, yeah, we just get in and play. Yeah, they're idiots. So you go into the sound settings prior to going into the game. You can drop their volume way down, jack up the sound effects. You don't even have to worry about them. Get them out of there because they are annoying as hell and it will take away from you enjoying this game. There are better shmups on the PS4. But as far as the co-op element and being able to sit down and beat a game in under two hours and have a hell of a time is just something from yesteryear that doesn't always exist anymore. So this really hits that And spot. I love that too because the older we get, the less time we have to game with friends because we're busy with life and jobs and stuff like that. So if you can get in one night a month and game with a guy and beat a game, it's so satisfying and it's just awesome. All right, there you have it. Five great games that we think you need to try on the PlayStation 4. Yes, there are tons of great AAA titles from Spider-Man and Uncharted, God of War, Horizon Zero Dawn, so many great games, but these games flew under the radar and most people don't know about them, but you need to get out and play these because they are equally as great. Yes, there's a lot of hardcore gamers who probably have played these, but most casual gamers on the PS4, they miss these games, and that's a shame because you need to get out and pick them up. They're great titles, and some of them can be obtained relatively cheap. As always, thanks for your continuous support and subscribing to the channel. Keep gaming, keep drinking. We'll see you next time on Gaming Off the Grid. Oh, when you're when you're in our line of work, you see some funny stuff. <laughs>
Oh, you should have seen what just happened. That was a bizarre occasion. All over the field. 